Welcome, I'm Danny O'Dwyer right here in the GameSpot stage, and I'm delighted to be joined by Jazz Brousseau, associate producer with EA Sports UFC. How are you doing, Bo? I'm doing great, I'm glad to be here. Uh, this is a game uh, that a lot of people have been waiting to come out because it is a difficult game to convert into, a, a sport to convert into a video game, and you guys have a lot of pe pedigree with what you worked on with Fight Night Champion, and I think a lot of people are sort of cautiously optimistic that you guys might have actually nailed it. Well, you know, MMA is a complex, nuanced sport, uh, so it's hard to mimic that in a game without sort of being true to the sport. Uh, so, you know, we do a lot in terms of uh, modes and tutorial tutorialization. We have a, a specific game mode called Challenges where yeah. players can go and practice very specific portions of the game. So, you know, if my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is not very good, I can go there and practice just that. If I want to work on my takedown defense, I can go and do that. Um, and so, you know, really just trying to bring players through the experience. Yeah. Career mode's a great uh, sort of opportunity to, to do that as well. When you get tossed into fight now, it's a little bit overwhelming, but um, we're, doing, we're doing our best to sort of, you know, uh, gradually teach players how to, you know, do the BJJ, the grappling, clinching. Excellent. All right, let's look at them. what's happening here Sorry, on, the, on the screens here. Yeah, don't want to so talk over Bruce Buffer, but we got Anthony Pettis versus UFC legend Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Uh, yeah, I mean, so Bruce Lee comes in four weight classes. This is the lightweight uh, weight class right now. Uh, what you're seeing right now is uh, one of our fighter intros. Anthony Pettis is sort of stalking around the octagon. Um, and it interestingly enough, we did 3D head scans and for all the UC fighters, including yeah. Bruce Lee. So we actually had a head cast sent down oh, to wow. us by uh, Shannon So you, Lee. you got the tattoos all done as well? What yeah. was it like when Conor McGregor got that stuff done, <laughs> like after you guys scanned him, I'm guessing? Uh, you know, I think it was a it was a real uh, it was a real uh, sort of uh, um, we had a rush to sort of take care of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Get him to send some HD uh, yeah, HD but it's shots. A, it's a it's a great tattoo though. It is, it yeah, is. it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, like you, the detail, you got Mario Yamasaki doing his little heart thing as well. Yeah. Uh, you guys seem to have like if if nothing else at this stage have absolutely nailed the presentation. It's almost exact same as watching a paper. Yeah, you know, we did a lot in terms of wanting to give uh, personality to the characters and make mm. them feel like their true life counterparts. So, um, you know. Dos Santos, when he's introduced in the octagon, he'll walk to the middle and, you know, do his yeah. sort of arm throw down. GSP will rush to the octagon. Um, and just doing as, as much as we can to sort of give some personality and flavor. Uh, I'm guessing Silva kind of creeps his way in exactly. and all that sort of stuff. John, John Jones will start off in his, you know, his Lotus yeah. stance. Uh, so let's talk about the moment-to-moment -moment action here, especially yeah. for folks who might not be familiar with, with the sport or the previous games. So essentially, what, what, what are you doing as controlling one player? What are you thinking about in this situation? I'm sorry? What are you thinking about when you're actually playing this game in terms of like one the moment-to-moment moment One action? of the core components of the game is you know, stamina management. It's all about controlling uh, your exertion, making sure that you're not you know, going on the offensive too much. Uh, it's you got to have a mix of both defense and offense. So it's both managing your stamina, watching what the other player is doing, maybe trying to exploit any holes in their game. So uh, you know, if a guy's not taking you down, maybe his ground game's not very good. It's time to go down there. Uh, UFC is a, a sport. Um, MMA is a sport that uh, often invites patience. Like it's perhaps not about trying to knock somebody out immediately. Absolutely. Video games are perhaps not, or when we're playing them, we don't play it that way. Yeah. Um, how do you guys manage that? Trying to keep the pace realistic without, you know, without, without making the game tedious or, or forcing people to be patient. Um, you know, I think our, our, uh, our real-time exertion system that we have does a good job of, you know, forcing players to sort of pace themselves. Um, again, you know, as you as you play through career mode. You'll be you'll you'll learn how to sort of control your stamina, manage it, manage the sort of the pace that you're going at. Um, it's definitely a game that you can get into and uh, you know just sort of go crazy, but it's yeah. more rewarding to sort of take it slow, sort of uh, uh, take your time. I mean, MMA is a game of chess, um, yeah. and we're trying to mimic that here. Awesome. Uh, so uh, so it looks like Anthony Pettis just got a cut. Yeah, yeah, he's got a little bit of a little bit of scarring going on there. How, uh, how how brutal do you guys get with the like the, the, the actual skin modeling and stuff and muscles is incredibly uh, realistic. How do you, how how deep do you guys get with, with in terms of like the facial scarring and stuff like that? And, yeah, like, so I'm guessing you guys don't have breaks. I mean, our damage system our damage system is not just for the head. You know, as you take damage to the body, uh, mm -hmm. you know you'll get swelling and redness, um, and the more damage that you take, the worse that will uh, occur. 
So um, if I check an Anderson Silva kick, is he going to break his leg in half, though? Unfortunately, no. I mean, that is something that happened uh, a little bit late in our development cycle to include, but that's certainly something that we're looking into. But, but is it something you want to, like, that's the, the, the sort of thing. Think, it's like yeah, I mean, that our, type of stuff. Like, nobody watches a Rousey fight to watch somebody break their, their I mean, arm. So. Our philosophy is if it happens in the octagon, it should happen in the game. Okay. You know? And so we're striving to uh, make sure that we deliver on that. Cool. So you guys are going to launch. Uh, UFC is a is a, a, a sport and an event that continues around the clock, changes a lot. Uh, in terms of like belt changes, um, in terms of like people who are uh, taking time off, for instance, uh, GSP. In terms, uh, like this is something a lot of EA games do, with like FIFA and NHL. Is this something that you guys are going to take into account? In terms of fighters taking time off, I don't think that we would um, exclude anyone from the roster mm. based on that. But certainly, um, you know, we'll be offering free roster updates to. Uh, sort of flesh out the roster um, and include any holes in the... Uh, Did you scan Ariani as well? I, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Everything. Did you scan I Bruce unfortunately, Buffer? I unfortunately was not there <laughs> for that. Did you scan Rogan and Goldberg as well? Definitely. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in terms of the, the commentary, commentary, is it the A-class commentators? Do you have any of the guys who do the, the non-main... Uh, non -main right now we only have Joe and Mike. Cool. Um, but, I mean, again, that was something that uh, I think Ken Florian... Hmm. Only started commentating, uh, you know, maybe a year, a year and a yeah, half yeah, ago. So enough. again, you know, we made this game in a very short amount of time, in about two years. So definitely in the future, that's something that we would consider adding. Cool. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit the, the, about the ground game. Uh, one of the most difficult things, even about watching UFC when you first get into it, is trying to understand where openings are and, and, and where opportunities are. That's difficult as a spectator. So how do you try and educate? Because essentially your job is to not only educate a player about how to play this video game, but also what the rules of UFC are and, and where the opportunities are. How, how much of a challenge is that for you guys? Uh, well, you know, I think it's just we looked at, obviously, what past titles have done and just try to improve on that. Um, I mean, the ground game, all of the sort of the positional changes are very intuitive. They're all on the right stick. Um, and it's all sort of gesture-based movements. Um, and, of course, I can both attack and defend those. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, it's something that players are going to have to learn, but there's there's definitely going to be a rewarding and full and fulfillment there. Do you guys have an octagon in the studio? Unfortunately, how, not, how many no. of you guys roll? Uh, there's about 20 of us that, that roll. Okay. Um, our entire gameplay team, uh, and some of them are actually doing competitions now. Oh, really? Yeah. So you guys were were Fight Night Champion devs as well. That's correct. Uh, many of us were, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was perhaps I. Personally, I think that's the best Fight Night game, and, they, and I loved all those games. Awesome. One of the things I loved about it a lot that I see here is in terms of the animation and the, the, the way in which the, the fighters react to getting hit, but one of the, the premium things I loved about Fight Night Jamming was what you guys did with the campaign, with that single player. Uh, is there any of that being crossed over into EA Sports UFC, or was that just too much of a challenge to do in the first game? I mean, that was a huge undertaking that we did on Fight Night Champion. Um, it, I've definitely, you're not the first person to, you know, ask or, or, or say that, you know, that's something that we should continue to try and do. Yeah. Um, in terms of in, in terms of UC, we really wanted to focus on the gameplay. Uh, for our career mode, though, it's for the first time in any UC game, we're going to be featuring the ultimate fighter. So players oh, really? start, start off in the tough house uh, and, you know, Excellent. fight other contestants for an opportunity to be on. Is that a custom character that you make yourself? Absolutely, yeah. Cool. Uh, could you do male and female? Uh, you cannot do female. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can create yourself and you can, you know, download your game face and actually put yourself in the octagon. But you guys have got uh, female fighters, right? Ronda Rousey's in here, Misha yeah. Tate. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have the bantamweight women's class. Cool. So Kat Zingano, Tate, Rousey. Awesome. Uh, who else do you have? Who do you not have? Because at this stage, it looks like you've, like if you've got, if you've got McGregor, which by the way, thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Uh, as an Irishman, uh, just run through some of the. I'm guessing you got every single weight well, class I mean, in the bunch. Well, I mean, the UFC roster in of itself is is massive. Yeah. So obviously, there's some fighters that. Uh, sort of got left off the table but like I said before we're working on a free roster updates and we're making sure that you know we're focusing on the you know up-and-comers and the current champions do you have any uh, classic fighters at all I'm sorry do you have any classic fighters or uh, even like yeah we have like Chuck Liddell Royce cool. Gracie Rich Franklin so you know there's a mix of legends champions up-and-comers cool uh, another real cool thing about Fight Night Champion was the uh, the store where you could share out the fighters that you had created. Uh, one of the funniest things, I think last year I went to play it and people had made everything from, from Gollum to Gandhi to Michael Jackson and, and all that sort of stuff. Mm, yeah. uh, are you guys, do you guys have that sort of 
per fighter sharing stuff in So yet? on Fight Night, that was, uh, you know, the, the whole created fighter system was very important to that game um, because, you know, we had to license fighters in individually. Yeah. So it was important for us to you know, allow players to sort of flesh out that. Uh, that. But in, uh, in UFC, there's no fighter share, but players can create their guy. They can fight with them online. Cool. Uh, that single player um, element, the story you were talking about, um, how long is that? And is that just generally more of an introduction to the mechanics rather than something that people would be playing a lot of? I mean, the career mode is going to change uh, depending on how you play. So there's a concept of both popularity and uh, longevity. So longevity determines, you know, how how long can I fight? Um, and popularity determines, you know, how popular, obviously, how, you know. Um, but it's basically sort of a tug of war between those two mechanics. Mm. You know, if I am if I go out there and I stand and brawl, I'm going to be really exciting to watch. Yeah. But I, my career is not going to last very long. So uh, it's important to sort of, you know, manage both your popularity how, how and how exciting it is for me. Uh, in terms of then like the variability within fights uh, we're watching a three round fight here do you have five five round fights as well for belts and yeah we have three round fights five round fights both uh five round fights championship and non-championship matches so i just want to take a moment to talk about this yeah is, go for it absolutely this is, this is the uh new submission game that uh, that we have and it's what we're doing it's it's a staged approach here so and Anthony Pettis just beat Bruce Lee. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Bruce Lee's ground game ain't, ain't I mean, as good. It's good. It's good to, to, and you can see sort of the redness on the uh, ribs there. Yeah. But the uh, the submission system is sort of a staged approach. So if I do the work to get into a full mount, the m number of stages I have to go through to yeah. slap that s submission on and complete it is going to be fewer. I love t-shirts on uh, for the for the lift as well. This yeah. is a uh, interesting great. interesting note about the t-shirts for Bruce Lee is that that's actually authentic Bruce Lee Enterprises fight. Oh, excellent. Here, yeah, you can buy that in store right now. And Mario puts up Pettis's hand and we're done. Yeah. There you go. I'm guessing there's no Rogan interviews after every single fight. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, you guys seem to have bit off uh, a lot, and it looks like you tune on it pretty good. EA Sports UFC's um, looking pretty tight. I know the, the demo came out last week. Yeah, demo's uh, out now, and uh, game's out on Tuesday. When it, on Tuesday? Yeah. Done and dusted. Yes. All right, once, the, once uh, E3 is done, I'm out of here to play some. Jazz Busso, awesome. absolute pleasure to talk to you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, best of luck with EA Sports UFC and, cool. uh, and, and the continuing. I hope it's a franchise that continues on and we get to see... Uh, uh, better iterations of as we go forward. Uh,